Did you know you could build your own kayak cart from parts from like Home Depot or Harbor Freight for like 35, 40 bucks? Well, you don't have to. You can get one off of Amazon for the same price. Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your boy, Big Ball Vlogs, and I'm back with another Amazon deal. And I know a lot of you are like, hey, Big Ball Vlogs, pick a niche. Well, guess what? My niche is doing reviews and deals, and I'm bringing those deals to you. This may not be interesting unless you have a kayak. So at this point, if you're not interested in hearing this, you can probably go find one of my other videos. But if you do want to know about the deal that I got off of Amazon, stick around. This might take me about 15 minutes. So let me set the story for you. Last weekend, my buddy and I found this reservoir. Actually, we were told about this reservoir. We went out to scope it out, and we found out that we had to get our kayaks back to the reservoir, and it's probably about, you mm, know, 300 yards of rough, rocky trail. So at the time, we were like, hey, we need carts. Um, we looked online real quick. We wanted some quick turnaround stuff. You know, we couldn't find an Amazon deal. I didn't do, the, you know, my, my whole search to the end of Amazon to try to find a deal. We were looking for a quick solution to get our kayaks back to this pond to fish it real quick. And me doing my research for a quick solution to that, I came across a lot of recipes on YouTube. Um, some of them were just, you know, on vlogs about how to build your own kayak cart from parts that you can get from Home Depot. Specifically PVC, some aluminum tubing, and some $5 wheels from Harbor Freight for like $35 or $40. Bucks. And I went and grabbed them. It was a pain in the butt to begin with because you know this home depot had some parts and i had to drive about 20 miles to get parts from the other home depot but at the end of it by the next day i had put together myself this kayak cart and i i gotta admit i had a little bit of a design failure because i didn't even know how a kayak cart was supposed to work so i went back to amazon the next day and i found that you can buy i threw this once and had to go get it but i won't throw it again because i don't need it anymore you could actually buy a cart from Amazon for like 35 or 40 bucks, a nice solid cart. Now, I had already bought one for like 40 bucks, but I sent it back because again, not knowing how a kayak cart was supposed to work, it wasn't the cart for this particular kayak. I own a Pelican Catch HD2, which has a unique style bottom and the cart that I bought didn't hold it. It would just roll right off the top of the cart. Um, after doing a little bit more research, I found out that I needed a specific type of cart that would be able to kind of mount to my kayak. So what I did was went back to Amazon, spent a little bit more time, came across this cart, which was a thirty eight dollars. To be honest with you, I don't even remember the name of it. Um, looking at the instructions that it came with, it just says nice world on it. It's probably rebranded on Amazon. But what I wanted to show you was what type of cart can you get from Amazon for like thirty eight dollars? I think I paid thirty eight dollars for it. Now, I know a lot of you like to spend money. And if you look up kayak carts, you're going to find some that range from mm, 80 bucks all the way up to 200, 300 dollars. They all look the same to me. Don't know why they cost more. Don't know what materials they're made out of. But most likely, they're probably going to have a higher price tag to get your attention because you think it's going to relate to quality. So the question is, does this kayak cart for 38 dollars have quality, quality, quality? Let's put it together and find out. All right, so first off, let's just dump all of the parts out of the box and see what I got going on here. And let's get the box out of the way. Um, so this particular cart I bought because after doing some research, I noticed that a lot of kayak carts had really tall um, support beams on them, which kind of had your kayak, um, I don't know, I would say a foot and a half, two foot off the ground. And what I learned from, you know, doing some research is it's about balancing your kayak on top of those wheels so that it is very easy to pull the kayak. But I didn't want to have to, you know, manhandle this relatively heavy HD2. I'm a shorter guy and I wanted something with shorter legs. So I had two options and, I, and I'm, I might just put the other one in the description below just in case you're interested in seeing the other one because it was about $38 and it also will probably support the HD2. Um, but I went with this one because it had shorter legs. It had a shorter um, stance to it. As you, this is the actual bar that, the, that will go underneath the bottom of your kayak. And as you can see, that's only about, I don't know, four inches long. Whereas the other options were, you know, probably a good foot and a half, two foot tall. Um, in the box, what I got is a set of instructions. 
Uh, don't know what this is at the moment. Looks like an axle. Two wheels. They are tubeless, rubber, lightweight, feel good. Um, I know a lot of, you know, depending on the terrain, um, I might be able to, or if I, you know, if I, if these don't work, I might have to switch to tubed wheels. They look like they got about a one and a half inch or maybe a half inch, maybe a one inch or half inch diameter uh, uh, axle bore here. Um, so what I might have to do is probably just switch these out with two tires, but we'll get to that if we need to. These are the support beams. Um, it has a nice, I mean, it's like a either, I think it's maybe a steel. No, maybe a aluminum. Nice heavy aluminum support frame here. It is oblong in shape. So I was curious, you know, looking at the whip, uh, images on YouTube. I'm not sorry, looking at the images on uh, Amazon, I thought this was round and this would just rotate around because it was so cheap and I would have to probably drill some holes in it. No, it's oblong so that it doesn't allow this to rotate when you're putting the kayak on it. But it does not have um, the kickstands that some of those taller kayak carts have. So let's put this thing together, see how it goes together. I'm probably yelling, I keep forgetting I got a lab on. And see what it's like uh, underneath the kayak. So we're going to get the axles here. We got two axles for the wheels. We have these support beams, which they're gonna go on, I guess, same direction. It does look like these go on this way. Let me just double check. Yes, it does look like they go on with the holes facing up. So that shim just popped out of there. So we're gonna try that again, because it pushed that shim out. We might have to do some movie magic here and do some editing, but I'm going to put that back in there if I can. Okay, went back in pretty easily. Let's make sure this is tight. That shim actually is probably going to clamp down or tighten down around. It's going to tighten down around this. I'm going to tighten this nut down, so I'm going to try to slide it in without it coming off this time. That works. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. We're going to keep the threads or the thread, the tightening thread. I'm going to keep the tightening threads facing the same direction. Now, here's where this will end up being adjustable for my use is the bottom of my cart. I need to put these, I mean, my kayak, I need to put these relatively close together to get it between the, uh, the, the channels on the bottom of the hull. So we're going to be able to adjust that once we get this all said and done. Um, we've got to put the axles in. There are no end caps here. So let's see. It looks like the axles are going to go on to the smaller side. And they have these little push button uh, levers so that you can take this apart if needed to put it into the back of your kayak. Some of them fold down. I think the one I'm going to put in the link, the description in the link for folds down. I'm going to put that in. That locks in. There's a little collar there that keeps it from sliding around. We're going to do the other side. Same way. And I mean, I'm talking right now, but this thing probably would have taken me about, about a minute to put together. And the last step is to put the wheels on by depressing little button slide the wheel on it's gonna snap out on the other side and the same thing with the other wheel there's no direction they both the wheels look the same on both sides and there you go there's your completed cart and the thing i liked about this one was that it had um these straps are secured to the actual um supports here so you don't have to like figure out because that's what another failure point on my kayak cart um the, the strap kept sliding off of it so this is already kind of like secured to the support so you'll be able to wrap your strap around and then pull tight and you should be good to go so that's the assembled cart so far very impressed 30 bucks these parts right here they seem to be like uh, i don't know i don't know if they're plastic they look like they're, they're reinforced plastic so that i guess the over time would tell whether or not this is going to break and you know you know maybe it would have been worth investing in the other cart that I'm going to post, which is uh, all aluminum or metal. But for now, this is what we got, so we're going to give it a test and see how it works. All right, so in the research that I've done, it says that the cart should be somewhere around your seat, and you're supposed to balance the cart on, on I mean, balance the kayak on top of the cart. And let me give you a quick look at the bottom. What I want to do is, and this is the reason why a lot of carts don't fit. It's because I got these channels right here and I got this channel right here that I couldn't get a cart under here because it would just fall off. It would it'd either be too wide 
um, where I couldn't get it. Um, it would be too narrow where I couldn't get it to sit on the outside or too wide so it wouldn't sit in the middle. So with this cart, what we're going to do is we're going to try to get it adjusted so that it rides in the middle like that. So what I want to do really real quickly is get that all that kind of measured out. Make sure it's evenly spaced because there are no little notches in here that would make sure that this is even. So we're going to go about like right there. We want to tighten everything down. And then we're going to sit it underneath and see uh, how easy it is to get it all strapped up. All right, so with that done, get a little snug, tight. Probably tighten up a little bit more for actual use. Um, I'm going to place this on the ground like so. I bring it up a little bit further. And then we're going to try to get this on top. I think I got to go a little bit further back. Yep, about right here. It's going to be about right there. Okay. So, it's probably going to take a couple hands to see if I got this right. It looks like it's sliding a little bit. And it is. It's on there. Okay. So now all I got to do is strap it up. Let's see right now it ain't strapped up so we're gonna get it strapped up great that it has uh i don't want to wrap this around my my rudder handle here but i probably could go under my rudder handle i could probably even go under the seat with the seat being secure but what we're going to do is we're going to go over top of the seat And then on the other side, this little strap on the other, I mean, this uh, buckle on the other side has a spring-loaded uh, clasp so that you slide it through. It's like a regular tie-down strap where you slide it through, and that buckle has a, some teeth in it to hold it in place. And we're going to pull that as tight as we can get it, like so. Throw that on top. Nice little snap to it. Let's move this back and see how well it rolls. All right. Okay. So like I said, a lot of those kayak carts sit up a lot higher. In fact, the, the guy who was coming to the lake that day with his cart, his kayak was this high off the ground. And I was like, I don't want that. I want it to be a little bit shorter so I can carry it like this. And I think I made a good choice here. So we're gonna back it up. It is working. Easy, effortless, effortless. And the wheels, they're a little bit softer rubber. So I don't feel all of the bumps and, and, and divots in this grass that isn't freshly cut and you know, the ground isn't relatively flat. So out there, if I wanna get back out there, I'm dealing with rocks and potholes and you know, it's just not sort of like a dirt trail with rocks and I don't know, like a clay type surface on it. This seems like it will work fine. So I can navigate it backwards. It's not sliding off. And I can pull it. Oh yeah, this thing moves. I can throw all my gear on here. And because it's balanced right in the middle, there's not a lot of effort to hold this, hold this up in the, you know, in the horizontal um, level position. And then when I am ready to put in, just drop the nose, take the cart apart because it has those little snaps on it, and I can throw it in the back of the kayak, which I never put anything back there. So I like it, I like it so far. So I'm not even working that hard, and I'm sweating. So yeah, um, if you want to build a cart for 30 bucks, 30, 40 bucks, you could definitely do so. It probably will cost you a little bit more because looking at the design that others have used, you're gonna need a little bit more you're going to need a little bit more parts to put it together. You're going to probably need uh, four T, three, T fittings versus, I know you're probably going to need six versus uh, four like I have. You're probably going to just need a little bit more pipe. You're going to need um, some more material to get it built. 
I paid about $38 for the material to build this cart, um, like $5 wheels and about, I don't know, 30 plus dollars in an aluminum axle, you know, uh, something that would hold the wheels on, like a little cotter pins, um, washers, uh, and PVC. And, you know, it was okay. I just had a design failure. With this particular cart, all those problems are solved. It cost me 38 bucks, shipped to Amazon Prime. It goes together, it's a nice heavy aluminum. Like I said, time will tell whether or not the, the blocks that hold the supports to the, to the actual, I don't know, central, central structure that you know, the supports are clamped onto will hold up or crack or whatever. But for now, 38 bucks, if I had the opportunity to get it that day, this is the way I would have gone. And to be honest with you, 38 bucks plus your time, mm, it's, it's a little bit more than 38 bucks. So just wanted to show you that. I will leave a link to this cart in the description below. I will also leave a link to another cart, which I was, that was my second choice, um, that kind of folds down. If you're interested, pick them up, save yourself some time, some money, get your kayak on the, on the water, do some fishing, some paddling, and have a fun rest of your summer. I'll talk to you later. Peace.